All right, hello, welcome to Terry Makes. Um, I should have probably videotaped this while I was doing it, but I wasn't even sure what I was going to do until I was done with it. Um, so I've got this Arlo camera, and it takes these small little batteries that are non-rechargeable. And I wanted to put this thing outside, but it was gonna be used a lot so the batteries would not last very long. So what I did is, I went ahead and hooked some wires on the inside to the battery clips, the ones that are uh, for six volts. And then, I got myself a six volt gel cell or SLA battery, sealed lead acid. Um, and then, I hooked a small solar panel to that. This is a solar panel that's made for deer feeders. Um, so if you want to look for a solar panel like this, just look for, there's the company name. And these are made to power, to charge the batteries that are in deer feeders that they use for hunting. And uh, it was just, you know, a nice little one that was 6 volts. This camera runs on 6 volts. Um, even though it's got uh, four of the 3 volt batteries in it, it's only 6 volts. So, um... I wired it in all in here. Uh, I did put a diode in line with the solar panel so that it wouldn't feed back when it's uh, dark. And then um, I've got these. I printed 3D printed this box, and I've got a a lid for it. Now you notice the wires come out this side. These are these are uh, should be watertight. Because this one's rubber grommet that pushes in, and this one I used a very high, high heat uh, hot glue that's used for manufacturing to do the wires there. But then I've also got a lid that goes on it that's got a roof over it. Now this is going to be mounted under the eave of my house, so it never really should get rained on anyways. And I got these brackets here that I'm going to use to screw it to the house. I'm gonna to have to have some help to put this up because I gotta have this, this, and the camera lifted up all at the same time. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions on this, um, I mean, it was a fairly simple project when I figured out what I wanted to do. I just, I printed up some battery dummies like this. And what it is, is uh, this is one that didn't work out. I needed, uh, the walls to be thinner and this to be longer. I put a screw in the bottom and then put a the wire around it with a nut on the inside. This one I just couldn't get the nut and everything to go down in there. It was too too hard to do it so remade that. And then basically this has just got the head of a screw on it and I just put it in the battery slot because this is the uh, same size as that. So I made two of these up Put these wires on from the inside to the uh, to the screw. Now the reason I put a slot here so the wires could come out of the slot. And in fact, I on the ones I used, the slot actually goes all the way down. Okay, so that made that easy to hook up. And I had to drill a hole through it to uh, uh, have the wire come out. And um, then I hot glued, again, that same hot glue on the inside and outside, both holes. I'm going to have to hit that other hole once more because it, it's got a little bit of a hole in it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hot glue that up. And that's basically it. Um, I printed this box, um, and then I printed these mounts afterwards because I wasn't sure how I was going to mount it. But I'm going to screw this to the inside of the... Uh, the eave of the house. Of course, this will go on the outside of the eave facing the sun. And same for this. This will, uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to mount it. I mean, I could mount it this way because you can flip it in video. Or I could mount it this way and then turn the camera um, on there because it's got that hole there. That slot will allow me to turn the camera upright. Uh, but I'll figure that out once I get out there. Anyway, I just thought I'd show this. 
I, I see a lot of people wanting to, you know, hook these up to, to 110 so that they don't have to go through batteries. And I understand that completely. But I wanted to be able to not have it on 110 and just have it outside with a solar panel. I thought this was a good compromise. Um, the reason I picked the, uh, the SLA battery is because I tried to look for other 6-volt rechargeable batteries. And quite frankly, the SLA was a lot cheaper than I could find a smaller like a nickel metal hydride battery. I didn't want to use um, nickel cadmiums. They're unreliable. They're bad. They're just nasty batteries. I've dealt with them for years and they're just, I don't, don't want anything to do with them anymore. And the lithium ions are really not the right voltage. I would have had to have hooked up a voltage regulator to it because you either got, uh, they call them 3.6 or 3.8 or whatever, but in reality, they're four, four to four and a half volts when they're fully charged. So if you put one, it's not enough. You put two, it's too much. So I went with the old SLA. That that thing will probably last ten years in there. Um, it was bigger, obviously, than I wanted to use, but it was only like thirteen bucks. And the nickel metals that are six volts, a little tiny pack. It was six that uh, I could find were like. $20. So, you know. Anyway, I will uh, keep an eye on this in case anybody has any questions. I'll be happy to answer them on how I, how I did this. And I'll catch you later.